Hi everybody, it's Deanna Nichols, doTERRA Blue Diamond, and I'm here to talk to you about making your own roller bottles. What would be the reason to put an essential oil in a roller bottle? If, it, if you want it in a roller bottle, there are several blends that already come in a roller bottle. For example, we have jasmine in a roller bottle, but there's lots of oils that do not come in a roller. So what would be the purpose of making a roller? Well, for example, this oil, DDR Prime, it comes in two forms. It comes in a liquid form here, and it also comes in a soft gel. But for a small child, like a four-year-old and under, they may not be able to swallow a soft gel. And this is a very important oil that we use on our son every day because this oil supports um, healthy brain function and is very important for him because of some sensory needs that he has. And so um, what we like to do is we like to put it in a roller bottle and roll it up his spine. Um, placing oils up the spine is a really good way to get them in your system. And so you can see this roller is almost empty now, and this is one that we use on him every morning and night. And so now we need to make a new roller. And so this has a metal top on it, so it's a little harder to get off than the plastic ones. But you kind of put the cap here and pull to loosen it, and then it should come right off. Okay? So that's super simple. And so this oil, the reason why you're going to dilute it with fractionated coconut oil, which I'm sure you see is here that we're going to use, is because this one contains a lot of oils that are warm. When you're a doTERRA member, you get a book that comes with your kit, your starter kit, and each oil has some letters under it to show you whether or not it needs to be diluted. So there are oils in here that are warm, like lemongrass and clove. <coughs> Excuse me. And so we definitely wouldn't want to put that on anyone's skin, much less a child, without using coconut oil. So what I'm going to do is, this is a 10 milliliter bottle, so um, I'm going to fill this about halfway full, maybe about a third full of oil. Oh, I need to put that down so you can see me doing it. Oh, I... It's really hard to be the cameraman and the, and the demo person. <laughs> so I'm not really counting the drops. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Um, since these oils like clove are sort of warm, I'm going to probably do it about one-third essential oil and about two-thirds coconut oil. So I'm just looking at that to see how full that is. I don't know if you can see that. I can probably do just a little bit more. Notice that you don't hold the, you don't hold the oil like this. You hold it above and let it drip in because if you don't, it's going to drip down the sides of the bottle. So that's pretty good. And so now we're going to get our fractionated coconut oil. This is a liquid coconut oil. It does not harden. Let me put this down so I have two hands. It does not harden when it gets cold and so that's perfect for using in a roller because obviously you don't want to have solid coconut oil in your roller. That's not going to work very well. So we're going to squeeze this in here and just go ahead and fill it up the rest of the way with our coconut oil and that's going to prevent it from irritating the skin. The other reason why you might add coconut oil even if the oil can be used neat. For example, if you were doing something with like lavender, melaleuca, and frankincense, maybe for some skin irritations, um, what would be the reason to use a carrier oil in that would be because whenever you're using essential oils and you really want the oils to treat something that's just on the outer layers of skin, then you want the coconut oil there to kind of hold the oils there, and so they're not just going deeper into the tissue. Another reason to use coconut oil so you don't overuse the essential oil. We tend to use too much of an oil, and so um, that kind of helps you, especially if you're putting it over a wide area, it helps you not to overuse the oil. And then another reason is so that um, more of the oil gets in the body instead of evaporating, but it kind of slows down um, the absorption. So that's the reason why you don't feel the irritation on your skin for a warmer oil. So normally I would then put a cap sticker on here. Um, I don't have a cap sticker with me right now that has DDR, so I can write it on this blank cap sticker, and then we'll know exactly what's in the blend. Another thing that you can do is you can get the cap stickers from your other oils. And if I were to make a blend that had, you know, for example, if I was making something with TerraShield, I would use the TerraShield sticker and I could put it here. If it had other oils, I could add the other stickers and then I would know what was in my blend. So that's really simple, and that's all you have to do. If you would like to actually come and make some rollers in person with me, I'm going to be doing uh, two roller blend events in Jacksonville, Florida, on Monday and Tuesday of this coming week. Um, that is, I believe it's April 16th and 17th. So you can contact me for information. If you're a member of doTERRA, the rollers are going to be five, you're going to have a $5 cost, and then guests are, get a free roller bottle. 
The one on the 16th is actually for kids. You can bring your kids and they can make some kids solutions for rollers. And then the event on the um, 17th is for hormones. So that's a great one for women. So contact me if you want more information and you can come and make some roller bottles and um, play with us and play with your oils yourself. Have a great day.